Have you ever thought about making a dessert incorporating parsnips? Well, today we're going to make a roasted parsnip, ginger, and maple ice cream. So to do this, we're going to start out with some uh, fresh parsnips. And we're going to take them and we're going to cut them in half and then quarter them. And what we want to do for this particular recipe is just take out a little bit of the core out of the parsnip because it can be um, a bit fibrous. And once that's done, we're going to simply cut our parsnips into two or three inch, inch lengths and toss them with just lightly a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt. And we're going to roast those at about 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or so until they are nice and golden and cooked all the way through. Okay, our parsnips should be about ready. And as you can see, they're nice and golden brown and they're also nice and soft. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add them to our milk. We want to bring this up to a simmer for about five minutes. That's going to allow the flavor of the parsnip to really get infused into the milk. And then we're going to transfer that mixture to a blender and we're going to puree it. So while we're waiting on that, we're going to take some crystallized ginger bits and what we've done is covered them with uh, hot water, just for five or 10 minutes. Once we've done that, we're just gonna drain our water and transfer the ginger to a paper towel to uh, kind of dry off a little bit. Okay, so now our parsnip mixture is ready to puree. So we're going to pour that into the blender. Now keep in mind that you've got a hot mixture here. So when you do blend hot foods, make sure you take the top out of the lid and just put a towel over and just turn it on low speed to begin with so you don't create any uh, steam that could uh, allow it to um, kind of come out of the container and burn you. All right, so we have our, our parsnip and our milk puree now, which is going to go back into our pan. And now what we want to do is add the rest of our ice cream ingredients. So now we're going to add some pure maple syrup and our sugar and our cream. Now we're going to bring this up to a simmer again. And while we're waiting for that, we're going to mix some egg yolks. We've got four egg yolks here with the other half of our sugar. So you don't have to whip it. You don't need a machine. You just want to get the sugar and the egg yolks mixed thoroughly. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow uh, or prevent your eggs from scrambling when we mix the hot milk with the egg yolks. So again, we're going to bring our milk, cream, parsnips, maple syrup, and sugar up to a simmer.
And then what we want to do is temper or gradually introduce this hot mixture into our yolk and our sugar mixture. If we were to dump the yolk mixture straight into the hot milk, you'd end up with scrambled eggs. So once you have about half of your mixture added to your yolks, turn your heat down. And we can add that tempered egg mixture back to our pan now. And now at this point, over a low heat, you want to constantly stir until it thickens. Uh, if you have a thermometer, 170 degrees is about where you want it. You don't want to go any higher than that or your mixture can curdle. Once we have the thickness, we will take this and strain it into another bowl set that bowl over some ice water to cool the mixture down before we put it into an ice cream freezer. Okay, so now our parsnip ice cream base is nice and thick. And another way you can uh, check it is with a wooden spoon, if you just take your finger and that line holds like that, you know it's thick enough, all right? So if you don't have a thermometer, that's another great way to do it. But the key really is the low heat, otherwise, uh, Again, if your heat's too high, you may end up scrambling your eggs, and you'll have kind of a lumpy consistency, and your ice cream won't be nice and creamy and smooth. Okay, so now we're going to take it, and we want to strain this, again, so we have a smooth ice cream. And I'm straining this into a metal bowl over some ice water. And what this will do is allow it to cool down nice and quickly because even though it's off the heat it can still keep cooking okay and then just gently with a spatula we're just gonna kind of push it through and this is gonna get out any of the parsnip that didn't get blended uh, it'll also get out any if there's any cooked pieces of egg in there and then we're going to stir in our candied uh, crystallized ginger that we've softened with the hot water. And you can stand and stir this for the entire time if you have the time and then put it into the uh, ice cream freezer or you can just let it sit and come back to it every few minutes and give it a stir. Uh, you could also, um, once you've cooled it down to room temperature, put it in the refrigerator overnight. So this could be done a day or two ahead, and then you could freeze it the day you want to make it if you want to eat it soft uh, or freeze it and then uh, put it in the freezer for a later date. Okay, so our parsnip ice cream base is cooled down now and we can transfer it to our ice cream machine. So here's our canister. So this will make uh, one quart approximately of ice cream. So now we're gonna take our canister of ice cream base and we're gonna uh, put it in the machine and just freeze it according to the manufacturer's directions. And then when we come back uh, in about 45 minutes, we will um, show you the finished product. Okay, so ice cream's ready. We're going to take the dasher out of here. And of course, if you've got kids, they always like to you leave the ice cream on here and they can go lick it all off. And there we have our roasted parsnip maple ginger ice cream. Mm -hmm.